Hey everybody, today I want to do a DIY uh, shader morpha reactors. I'll be using uh, BRS carbon reactors, I'll be converting that to the reactors and I'll show you how we're going to do that. But before that, I want to wish everybody Happy New Year's and also I want to thank all our subscribers and also I want to thank our new subscribers to the channel. Thank you for these subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Now let's begin to the DIY uh, shader reactors. For this project, you need the reactors itself. I will show you how we're gonna do this, convert it to uh, reactors from uh, carbon reactors. You need the pump, and you need some hose and fitting, and you need, of course, the shader morpher uh, itself. I got it from Ayer Juban, I ordered that. And also in the shader, the help to grow the shader faster, like the, the element for it. And you need the light. I chose the LED plan grow light from Amazon. It's four red, one in blue. This will be also in the description below. And we, the way to do that, they're gonna wrap around the light all the way around. And I'll be leaving like about half inch or so between each uh, side. And goes on further, further down. And the top, I'll be using tie strap in the top. Now, for the head over here, this PV side, it will not fit, it's kind of odd size. You need a fitting. It's a three quarter fitting from Home Depot or from Lowe's. And you're gonna use a super glue to glue it down. And again, this half a three quarter PVC pipe. And you're gonna push it inside like that. And that's it. And we're gonna put it inside and put the shader more for later on. Now, let me show you how you're gonna do this. So I'll be taking first, I'm gonna connect this fitting. Let me show you, just like that. Because I want a line and there is one is like $400 to use, it's a nice one, but I don't want to spend $400 for this kind of stuff. So we're gonna use, just like that. Oh, what I'm gonna do, if you can see it says out and in. I'm gonna convert that. I'm gonna make the out actually is gonna be in, so the water gonna travel through this, to hold this uh, inside the center pipe, and it's gonna exit through the side, which is gonna be the end. So I'm gonna reverse, instead of being out, I'm gonna be in, and then it's gonna be out. I think it's gonna perform better this way. So right now, just like that, let me show you quick how the light's gonna be on. See that? I think it's gonna be pretty good. And the way to schedule these, you, you wanna run this and the opposite of the schedule of the light. When the light goes off, you want these to be on. I'm gonna start about 10 hours a day and maybe 12 hours a day on and see how the chair is gonna grow. Because I wanna have an issue, well here as you can see, having some hair allergy in this side. I don't know if you can see in the camera. It's a little bit right here, this side. I mean, I tried to use chemical, but it's not, not working correct. good. And some spot right here, these two. Now, I'm gonna dip the Chiromorpha in the fresh water for about, I say, three hours to make sure there's no pets or anything like that. Uh, it's clean, because I don't want to introduce to anything to my system. I'm keeping my system clean. So I'm gonna put like half in the fresh water for about, I say, three hours or four. And I mean, I know the allergy bond they're clean, but I don't want to take any chances. So I'm gonna put just like that. And a little bit more. And always when you handle this, wear gloves to be on the safe side. Always, always, always. Now after three hours, I'm gonna dip it for salt water for I say about an hour, just to make it, you know, a little bit relax and get prepared for the tanks. So right now I put everything here and I can see some stuff, but I don't know what, what it is, man. I don't know it's worms, make sure enough to clean. Because like I said, you don't wanna introduce your, any worms or bugs to your system. Always make sure. Because bugs love to hide in these kind of environments. Always wear gloves, always. 
after three hours all I can see is like white spot on the chair but at this point everything should be dead uh, so I'm gonna put, uh, put it right now in the salt water can rinse it we are ready right here so you can be all right you can see afterwards yeah what is that I don't think even the camera can pick it up uh, this one here what is that just make sure wear gloves when you handle this kind of stuff so let's see what here yeah it's okay Now as you can see I put the chair over here for an hour in the salt uh, water Now I'm going to pour it in the reactors So I'm going to add some water over here from the tank I'm going to get the chair I'm going to put it over here Now I'm gonna try to break it out a little bit, break it off. Now I put the wire on the top so when you to clean it so the wire doesn't get uh, in the sink it's it'll be, it'll be in the top, the wire Now I'm going to this one here See? Look at that The pump's not on See what, right now I'm trying to rinse it, make sure everything looks good. You see right here, how is it? No leak. Yeah, pretty good. Looks like there's no leak. Yeah. There shouldn't be, you have no holes yeah. in it. So. Like a leftover from the previous. So, pretty good. Ready to rinse? I don't know. Okay, we finished installing the reactors with the chair over here. It looks really good, as you can see. Everything. And I'm gonna try to time it for a, uh, about a month and see how it's gonna grow. Now I'm gonna add the chair over here. It's gonna to help to growing the chair, uh, the correct dose for my tank. This is will help uh, to grow the chero, all the element you need to grow. And I'm gonna wait a month or so, see how it's gonna perform. And also I'm gonna put a timer for it. So it's gonna run for like 12 hours uh, a day. These timer you can buy from Amazon, they're very cheap, and you can time them with the Bluetooth, they're really nice. And we'll see how it's gonna perform for one month. And after that, I'm gonna give an update video, see how is the reactor performance. And let's see, you can see the water, water flow. It's not bad. And I put it on top of the power head so it kind of circulate everything. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell for future video. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.